Mr. Moore, good to see you. Great to see you too. The 43 year old candidate is locked in a tight race to secure the Democratic nomination. Polling among the leading candidates is so tight, any one of the three could win. Because of that, a lot of attention is being paid to undecided voters. Recent polling data suggests more than 30% of the electorate is undecided. They have questions and want answers, starting with solutions to crippling inflation. Families are paying more at the gas pump. They're getting slaughtered in the grocery store. It's tough out there. How, do you, how does your administration respond to the needs of folks that are just trying to put food on the table and keep gas in the car? So we've got to focus on getting people back to work. And that means doing things like fixing a broken child care system, which we are going to prioritize. It means job reskilling and job retraining and getting people, getting people into jobs of now and also jobs of the future. But it also does mean providing a level of economic relief. Are you suggesting checks for families? Well, I'm, I'm suggesting that we have to be able to deal with inflationary pressure by dealing with the supply side, which means getting people back to work. It's one of the reasons that when we talk about my priorities is that we are going to accelerate the minimum wage. Uh, you know, there's no reason for us to get to a $15 minimum wage by 2025. Uh, violence is another issue. What do you say to families about trying to keep them safe? What exactly will your administration do to ensure that the crime rate comes down? We need the, for the state to be able to take it personally and for the state to be, able to, be, to be able to be a real partner with our local jurisdictions. And that means getting at the root causes of why we're seeing so much crime, but it also means fixing things like parole and probation and why we have a third of all people who are conducting violent crimes are in some way, shape, or form in violation of parole and probation. That's a state function. Some voters are looking to the state for guidance on school resource officers as well. Some school districts dismissed them after the death of George Floyd. Many were brought back to school districts after dangerous incidents on campuses around the state. Your position on SROs in schools? I think that, you know, SROs are, are local jurisdiction issues. And, uh, and I think part of the responsibility of the state is to be able to work with the local jurisdictions to be, able to, to be able to identify what is the right answer and what's the right response for that local jurisdiction. Larry Miller, WUSA 9.